The Harriet to Way is a 52 mile long distance path running through the lovely Yorkshire Dales National Park. It visits many of the places associated with the famous vet known as James Harriet. Join me and Rachel as we hike and camp our way along this spectacular trail. Morning everyone and what a wet morning it is. It's been raining all night unfortunately. It's just not let up at all so everything, well the tents are going to be soaked so that's going to be fun and I think we'll be having a, a wet walk today which is a shame but let's hope it dries up again a bit later. Thinking about staying in the youth hostel tonight because at least I have a drying room and we can get everything dry. So yeah, I'll just make a coffee and start packing up. Last night's camp. Tents held up pretty well against all that rain. It stopped now, so hopefully that might be it. There's some old metal chimneys here. The only thing is, this one's been used as a litter bin, so please, people, don't do that. Take your rubbish out with you. Just keep it clean. A rather epic wild camp last night. It was a good spot, actually. It was sheltered from the wind. I know it rained all night, but the tents held up. And to be honest, it would have rained wherever it pitched, wouldn't it? And um, it's a lovely, quite secluded spot. We weren't disturbed at all by anything. So yeah, good call, I think. You know, ever since I came through this spot, on the coast to coast in 2017, every time I've thought about wild camp and I've been drawn to this spot, I thought it'd make a cracking spot for wild camp, and so it's proved. Good? How are we doing? Good? The water's filtered, it's still looking quite colourful, so I've dropped a purification tablet in as well, just to make sure, just so I don't get a bad tummy. That's where we camped last night. As usual, leave no trace. If you can see the remains of a fire there, that's not ours. That's been done by somebody else. We've left no trace at all and are not indoors making a fire. Right, we've had a good climb up from our camping spot. We're right in the clouds now, we've picked up this good track and we'll follow this all the way down to some more mine ruins. Being plagued by flies at the moment, so hopefully they'll disappear. But yeah, it's not raining, so all's good. See this? It's really desolate. Looks like the surface of the moon, doesn't it? It's because of the old mine workings. It's a ravaged landscape that much. Nothing will now grow. It's quite sad really, but I suppose it is what it is.
Those are the remains of the old gang mill ahead. So I think that'd be a good spot for a break. The old gang legs spouting mill. 200 years of industrial past. Impressive, substantial ruin. Got a lot of it left. Still quite a few pieces of old rust and machinery around. Well worth a look. from the old gang smelting mill down to Surrender Bridge and the road which was used in the filming of the opening credits of the original Pony Falls and Horses and I think a mile further up is a ford where they splash through the stream and uh, so now we're climbing up a little soggy hill I think we drop down into the wonderfully named Cringley Bottom and then a steep scramble up the other side on a way to apparently it's pronounced Heenor but it's spelt off anyway but it's Heenor apparently we're still feeling good? Oh, yeah. yeah let's do it we've got this real steep 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 path down to that bridge and then uh, quite a steep scramble up to that gate just had to come down part of it on the bum because it was so slippy. These steps are quite um, interesting. I must say, that's quite a handsome, sturdy bridge for such a little stream and an obscure footpath. I suppose it's technically on the coast to coast, but still, I'm not knocking it. I'll be glad of that. Down there is a little hamlet of Hilo. That's where we're headed to. Our last stop before field walking to Reeve. So hopefully there might be a bench or something. The sun's come out now, so it's looking glorious. We've just seen a group of Duke of Edinburghs who look surprisingly chipper. And uh, one of them said, Are we doing this for fun? So we said, Yep, we sure are. Just having a breather and enjoying it while the sun's out. Just having a cuppa. So, cheers. We're, um, yeah, just drying ourselves off a bit. It's been pretty damp this morning. So, I haven't found a bench, but found a nice patch of green, so it'll do. We're on our way to Reeve now, through the fields. When we get to Reeve, we're going to have, have something to eat. The only thing with being back in the fields is we're back to these, these squeeze styles. There are so many of them and they all present their own individual challenges. That's a luxury, it's a style with style. Easy. There's a river swale down there, which we've been following. I'm pretty sure this is also the low route for the 
coast to coast. We're nearly in Reeve now, which is a lovely little village, for my last members of it. We're going to stop there and have a nice long break and a bit of an explore and some lunch. So I'm pretty hungry now. Right, we're in Reeve. We've reached here and what an attractive town it is. Lovely green there, are you allowed to park? And there's a little church down there, so we're going to find some refreshments and then have a bit of an explore. I remember coming through here on the coast to coast, but unfortunately I was a bit time restricted because I knew I had to get to Richmond, which was another 11 miles. But I remember thinking, I just want to stop and explore this lovely place, so at least now I've got time. Reeve has an attractive village green where parking is allowed for a small donation. The pretty post office sells everything from stamps to food and takeaway hot drinks. So tomorrow might be 12 miles. Leaving Reef, we had a good look around Reef and a good rest in Reef as well, and a good meal. We sat and got a coffee from the post office and just sat in the sun with us, it was lovely. Weather's perfect now, so we're just going to take a steady amble up to the youth hostel because they won't let us in until five. Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm very happy. I've got mm. a belly full of coffee and a juicy Jackie potato in there. Mm. Yep, we're both happy. <laughs> Yeah, let's. Well, this is Grinton. Looks like a charming village. It was just a, didn't take us very long to walk here at all from Reef. Just a nice path along the by near the river. So we're going to have a bit of an explore. Go and see the church. And uh, find what delights are on offer here. St Andrew's Church in Grinton was built in the 12th century and is the only parish church in Upper Swaledale. We had a look around this beautiful church before heading back into the fields for our last climb to Grinton Youth Hostel. Back to these again, in inventive styles. Ready for the last day tomorrow in our final stint. 